Diane Douglas is done. She will not be uh, Arizona's superintendent of public instruction after the end of the year. She has been defeated by at least two different people, but second doesn't count in this race. You have to be first to take home the gold, and Frank Riggs has done that. Let's look at the margins of, um, of his victory here. Everyone's looking at about 21%, but that's when you have to start digging into those numbers to see the difference. So uh, Frank Riggs with 124,666 votes votes there. An unlucky number, but very lucky for him here as he takes home uh, the gold. Bob Branch comes in second place with 124,307 votes. That's a difference of about 359 votes. That shows you that every vote counts. Our incumbent superintendent of public instruction, Diane Douglas, with 121,000 uh, votes, also keeping her still in the margin of 21%. This was a five-way race with Tracy Livingston and Jonathan Gelpart with a uh, 20 and 14 percent respectively. So you had about a half a million people vote in this race to bring you uh, this morning's outcome with Frank Riggs, who will be the Republican uh, going up for superintendent of public instruction against Kathy Hoffman in about nine weeks for the November election. It is now set. Diane Douglas is out. Who will replace her? We will have to see come November 6. Live in the newsroom, I'm Cameron Ronald, Arizona's family. All right, thank you very much, uh, Cameron.